Hey guys, this is Nolan with Pro Productions, and today I'm going to show you how to take a PQ Labs touch frame and convert any television into a touch screen. Let's get started. Today we're going to be installing a 55 inch G5S waterproof touch frame. So in this box is the glass and the touch frame already assembled. We don't need to assemble the touch frame itself or stick the glass layer onto the frame. We're going to basically open the box, we're going to take the touch frame and glass sheet out, and then we're going to lay our television down. Let's get started. So we have our TV laid out now. I've taken all of the plastic that comes around the edges of the TV, also a little energy sticker, and I've used a microfiber cloth to very carefully clean the surface of the screen. Now keep in mind, since a glass layer is going to go over the screen, we want to make sure that no little bits of dust or debris or hairs or anything are stuck between the glass layer and the TV screen. So it's important to be very thorough in cleaning with the microfiber cloth around the TV. Now, there is a small microfiber cloth that will come with the touch frame, or you can use any one that you have around the house. Obviously, a clean one is best. When you're choosing your television, there are a couple guidelines we suggest following in terms of the bezel width all the way around the edges. Our recommendation is at least a quarter inch wide and completely flat and glossy smooth. That's to ensure that the double-sided foam tape that you're going to use to attach the glass and frame layer to the television adhere properly and it's not going to have a chance to fall off and shatter and get damaged. So this Vizio 55 inch, which is what we use in our showroom, is a perfect model as it has a quarter inch bezel, perfectly flat and smooth all the way around. It's not curved like some of the Samsung series where the tape is not going to have an even flat area to adhere to when it touches onto the glass. Speaking about the double-sided foam tape that comes with the screen, this is what we're going to use to attach the frame and the TV together. So what you want to do is it comes in long strips. You want to take each of the pieces and you want to put them as close together all around the television. How much tape do you want to use? Well, you want to use enough that you're going to ensure that the touch frame and glass, which is pretty heavy, especially the larger sizes, is going to adhere properly to the television. So we're going to space at least three to four pieces on the short edge on this 55 inch, and then as many as we can fit on the long top and bottom edges. Now, keep in mind there are four edges. Tape all the way around is the idea, but of course putting more tape on one edge is perfectly fine than the other edges as long as you balance it. So let's put the tape on. Once you've laid the tape all the way around your television, you're going to want to assemble your touch frame. Now, like I explained earlier, you're just going to assemble the frame pieces to the matching numbers and the glass layer is going to get stuck to the touch frame. In a G5S or G4S, the touch frame itself will have a thin strip of adhesive that you'll put the glass layer up into. On the G4 and G5 frames, you're going to use the included tape to attach the glass layer to the touch frame itself. Here, we have a waterproof frame, so we didn't have to do any assembly, which is great about buying the waterproof touch frames. The glass layer is already adhered to the G5S frame here, so we're ready to start installing it onto the television. Now, we haven't removed the red backing on the tape that's stuck to the television, so we we're able to lay the touch frame and glass unit down on top of the TV, and it still moves around. Now, we've lined it up with our tape to make sure the tape's not showing, and we are good with this particular television. You want to make sure that the tape is not overhanging into the image area so you see it. You want to push it towards the edge. That may require removing some of the pieces of tape and reapplying them and making sure that your touch frame lines up perfectly so you don't see any of the tape. Now, you should have leftover tape and what we're going to use these for are little spacers to go around the touch frame and glass so that we can easily line it up, then pull the backing of the red tape that we have on there off and the touch frame will settle itself down on the television perfectly lined up. Let's try that now. I 
I don't see any of the tape now in the image plane. We're good. We have our spacers placed all around. Now we're going to carefully go in and peel the red backing off of the tape. Now, I sometimes use a thin razor blade to get that little tiny layer off and begin to pull it. I also like to put some weight down on top of the touch frame so it doesn't have a chance to shift. So to do that, we actually use reams of computer paper. Okay, let's start by peeling those tape layers off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the tape down on the corner here so the red backing then gets pushed up and I can grab it with my pliers here. I'm going to lift the touch frame up just a little bit, grab onto the red backing, make sure the tape is adhered down, and pull the red backing off. And I'm going to continue to do that, moving the weights that I have placed on the touch frame as I pull each of the backing off. Once you have each of the red backings of the tape pulled off the TV, now we want to carefully remove the spacers and keeping the weight pressed down so we don't shift the touch frame and glass unit. Now we're going to leave the weights that we placed on here for 12 to 24 hours, longer if possible, and that will ensure that the adhesion of the tape is going to be really, really strong in keeping the glass and frame unit to the television itself. You can also go around and press down all the way along where all the tape is and ensure that that adhesion is going to be taking place. We've just turned our 55 inch 4K TV into a 55 inch touchscreen. We can now plug the USB cable included with the touch frame into our Android computer, the iStick from PQ Labs, or a computer like a Mac, Windows, or Linux machine and run our touchscreen applications. There will be a disc included with the touch frame, but you want to make sure you go to PQ Labs website, the support tab, to download the latest drivers as they're always continually improving the accuracy and how well the touch frame will respond to your input. And that's it. That's all it takes to convert your television into a touch screen. Thanks for watching. This is Nolan from Poe Productions. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to contact us and we'll help you out.